I was born in Rhode Island and I grew up in the Tiverton area. I was raised by a single mom who was an elementary school principal. The environment is more than just, uh, just a word for a lot of people around here. And there are a lot of people that farm around here. And when I was growing up, uh, you know, we did some ourselves. I think that when you grow things for a living, you kind of become a little more environmentally conscious. Just living in a farm community helped to give me a little bit more of a respect for the environment. My company is pursuing ways to turn carbon dioxide into alcohols. We're targeting both electrochemical and thermochemical approaches for conversion. By using water as our hydrogen source rather than a higher value organic compound, that gives us the ability to create alcohols using only carbon dioxide and water, which is artificial photosynthesis. The technologies that we developed can do this at higher volume than most other people have developed. The company's ultimate goal is to deploy carbon dioxide reduction technology globally. A lot of different commodity chemicals that exist today, they come from petrochemical related sources. We're literally making different products out of water, carbon dioxide, and electricity or light. There are fewer impurities and fewer potentially hazardous substances in a lot of the alcohols that we produce because we're building them up one carbon at a time rather than breaking down a larger petrochemical byproduct. We want to be able to commercialize technologies that are beneficial for our planet and sustainable. And if I were to work for somebody else to do that, then they would have to tell me when I couldn't commercialize a product and when I could. In this startup, I've had to learn how to do research at the same level you would expect from a research institution, but on essentially zero budget. And my upbringing really taught me how to be frugal and save money as much as possible, which is crucial for any startup. Every startup has about 10 times that you think the entire company is going to go bankrupt and you're going to quit and you're going to be poor and homeless for the rest of your life. When you look at the ones that are successful, the founders are always very persistent and they persevere even through the really hard times. The biggest barrier between people and their dreams is just actually going out and making it happen. For us, a big differentiator is that we're willing to take our science and apply it to a lot of different opportunities that maybe other people wouldn't. We're taking a lot of risks, but that's what a startup is about, taking a lot of risks. And if one pays off, then we're successful. The students going into science do science because it gives you technical abilities that you can apply to almost any problem that you tackle in your life. 